Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on radiology. Just wanted to quickly apologize for the lack of videos recently. Um, just been on a cruise and I've kind of been unable to upload because of a lack of like internet issues and all that. And the upload speeds are just taking really long. So I just wanted to quickly apologize for that. Hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's and yeah, let's get into it. I forgot to mention this real quickly, but um, instead of going into our original type of conditions or diseases or symptoms, we're going to slightly align more into like the bones and more of the into like the orthopedic type realms. We're going to go into like more bones, fractures, uh, compound fractures, stable ones. So we're going to kind of explore different realms. So yeah, though this is so useful to know because it kind of interrelates in a way. So you just make sure everything is right over here. Uh, take a second to pause if you need to, and yeah. All right, so today we're gonna to be starting with uh, stable fractures. Now, uh, just wanna quickly give you guys some attention real quickly. So we can see that R over there in the top right of the image that indicates that it's the patient's right side of their arm and everything. So the opposite side is obviously gonna be their left. And if you quickly look at their arm, you can see that it indeed is the arm. I kind of gave it away. But you can see the hand and the wrist bones over there tightly compacted together. And then we can, right next to that, we can see the radius and the ulna bone. And we can see what looks to be like the bones, if we can see, are kind of still in shape, right? So it doesn't look like it's uh, cracked too bad in any way. It's slightly out of... Um, out of like the straight linearization that is supposed to be in you know, or like the curve that you want to call but i feel like it's very doable to fix that and that's what you would consider a stable fracture it's kind of something that is out of alignment but it's very easy to fix just by looking at it like it's not overly complicated or anything or it's just like a mere like taking a little bit of bone out kind of connecting the two with different forms of stitches, uh, metal, and all of that. So here's another one. Um, it's pretty similar to that previous image here. We can pretty much see the same uh, radius in the older bone again being broken. I'll try my best to show you guys a little bit different examples next time. Maybe some of the leg, maybe something in the chest. I don't know. We'll get we'll get to that. But again, this is a stable fracture. We can clearly see now. This one might be a little bit more weird because we can kind of see one bone kind of protruding another way and the other one slightly being like a little bit below that one. But that's simply due to movement. So when a person moves their arm constantly with a fracture like that, it kind of creates this different like space. But it's very easy to kind of fix. And I'm gonna tell you guys how um, these orthopedic people kind of uh, fix this. And I actually meant um, doctors, sorry for that. But um, the way they kind of do it is they first kind of manage the pain because obviously going to cause a lot of pain and discomfort for the patient. So that's kind of the first thing that prioritize, prioritize on. And then they also focus on a cast. Now this cast, I'm pretty sure most of you have seen a cast by now. But it, what it does is kind of holds your hand or any body part in a type of uh, movement. So it kind of prevents movement from happening there. And it kind of does that so you can kind of keep it still and it applies pressure in a way so that kind of like realigns the bones and over time it, the bones kind of start to uh, make more bone and that kind of fixes itself out now there may mean some be like some small surgery depending on where this fracture takes place because it doesn't happen all the time and sometimes the bone itself might not grow in the way expected but generally, cast is the way to fix this type of fracture, as it is the most simple, as the name suggests. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for a little bit stuttering here and there, just kind of getting back to the way of things. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.